four men have been reported missing. They were reported missing on October 11th of 2022, but they actually went missing on Sunday. Mark and Billy Chastain, 32 and 30 respectively. Mike Sparks, 32 as well. They were reported missing by Mark's wife, Jessica. A few hours later, Alex Stevens, 29, was also reported missing by his mother. All four close friends, and they are believed to have left Billy's house on the west side of, I'm trying not to pronounce this wrong, but Oakmugly, Sunday around 8 p.m. All were on bicycles. Two of the men are believed to have had cell phones with them, but all attempts for calls go straight to voicemail. Investigators spent the day, I believe on the 12th, conducting interviews with witnesses. A sighting of Alex was reported at the smoke shop on the south side on Sunday around 4 p.m., but I'm really not sure why they included that considering they went missing Sunday at 8 p.m. He was reportedly by himself. A, set, a sighting of both of the Chastain men were reportedly occurring on Monday morning by a YMCA. Investigators are working to try and confirm the sightings, but currently only have witness descriptions. Now, Mark's phone was tracked to an area south of the town that they live in, but was turned off or lost power. Officers checked that area and found no sign of any of the men. There's no evidence to indicate violence or foul play at this point, but it's very unusual that four grown men go missing all at the same time. Two had cell phones, but both are either dead or go straight to voicemail. I'm going to include a video from the news as well as their missing posters. There is not a missing poster yet for Alex. The information number is on there for you to call if you have any information whatsoever. Now, this is Oklahoma, just so that everybody's uh, clear, but it's Oak Mugly. Oak Mugly, I believe, is the way that you say the town, but you can see it right there on the screen. Investigators spent the day gathering video and additional GPS information. They also followed up on a potential sighting. They weren't able to confirm any reported sightings. An interview was conducted regarding a report that a citizen observed all four of the men walking down the street around 2 a.m. on Tuesday, but that cannot be confirmed independently or with video. This evening and tomorrow, they will begin the long and tedious process of sifting through hours of video as well as the GPS data. Additional locations have been identified as potential sources for more video, and they will be contacted tomorrow. Search warrants have been submitted for phone records, and warrants for Facebook accounts will be forthcoming. It's important to remember that without an actual appearance of the missing men on video along the path we've been able to establish by phone data, we can't definitively say the missing men took that path. Rather, only one of their phones did. We will continue to investigate and are following any evidence we uncover.